of your faith today. View it not as a sign that God has left you, but as a token of his desire to deepen and strengthen your commitment to him. We're going to take a look at one of the letters Paul that was written by Paul from prison. This letter to the Church of Colossae is one that scholars continue to bait as, is it authentic? Did Paul really write this? And the question centers on the Greek that it was written in. Paul's other letters were filled with short, crisp sentences, and this letter is filled with long and complex Greek structure. And for the most part, the balance weighs more on the authentic side. But then there's also the debate, where was Paul when he wrote it? Prison, yes, but where? Paul doesn't give us any clues. And for those who study Paul and know that he never went to Colossae, but since the church was established there, he may have felt some responsibility or thought they could use some words of encouragement. So here are these words from Scripture. Colossians 2, the first seven verses. Paul writes, I want you to know how much I have agonized for you and for the church at Laodicea, and for many other friends who have never known me personally. My goal is that they will be encouraged and knit together by strong ties of love. I want them to have full confidence because they have complete understanding of God's secret plan, which is Christ himself. In him lie hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. I am telling you this so that no one will be able to deceive you with persuasive arguments. For though I am far away from you, my heart is with you. And I am very happy because you are living as you should, and because your strong faith in Christ. And now, just as you accepted Christ Jesus as your Lord, you must continue to live in obedience to him. Let your roots grow down into him and draw up nourishment from him. So you will grow in faith, strong and vigorous in the truth you were taught. Let your lives overflow with thanksgiving for all that he has done. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God.